Okay, here we have uh, the Merrill control switch versus a traditional uh, control box installation. A traditional installation, you've got the power coming into the switch, and the switch goes for the power from the switch to the control box, and then from the control box to the submersible pump. Well, the idea is, okay, with this traditional system, on a three-wire pump, you have to mount the control box and do all this extra wiring uh, from the switch to the box. Well, wouldn't it be easier to not have to mount this somewhere, run the wires back and forth, and put it all into one component? Now you don't have to mount this and run the wires back and forth. The power comes in, and this end goes to the pump. It's that simple. It's really a matter of just building a heavy-duty capacitor built in that'll take the load of the motor running all the time, and it's in a big case to make it easy for installation, and your work is done. Some of the advantages, I thought I'd go in more detail. Uh, first, of course, you realize we have the big case, which makes it a lot easier, and a big cover, so you don't have to uh, fight to get the wires connected, especially if you're running heavy gauge wires for a, for a deep set submersible pump. And uh, some of the other advantages, the three quarter inch knockouts, so they have a bigger size for making it much more easier to run those heavy gauge wires into your pressure switch. The fiberboard bracket in the back, a lot longer cycle life, take a lot more abuse and take a lot more heat from wrapping on and off or if it's just from being outside or in a hot environment in the summertime. The fiberboard bracket's a lot stronger, take a lot more resistance. That and you can see the contacts, they're much larger than a, a traditional switch. So not only do you have the bigger contacts, do you have the bigger bracket board to, to move them and, and to work as you need to for long-term trouble-free service. The other thing about the control switches we talked about is the, for a one horsepower and larger, there's a thermal reset or like a mini circuit breaker automatically built in to satisfy you all. But the big advantages for the installer is you can see the electrical connections where you can actually put a number four wire directly underneath the set screw rather than trying to fight with getting a, a larger gauge wire underneath the head of a screw. Everything is wired exactly the same as what a traditional pressure switch. And then we'll put a heavy duty a run capacitor that has a heavy gauge wires to stay in the system all the time. It actually helps reduce the amperage draw, which helps the motor run a little cooler, and uh, consequently you have some electrical economy at that, at that point too. So that's just kind of an added extra advantage. Um, the other thing is they, they come with a, a swivel union, you know, because it's got such a big case that you can hold the switch stationary and then swivel the union to make the, the, the plumbing connection. A swivel unit at the bottom really helps the installation, the big case for the wiring, and all the controls you need all into one component. And you just save a lot of time and energy and uh, the extra work and the wiring you have to do, it's all eliminated by just using a standard control switch. The power goes in and everything to the pump on the other side and you're done. Okay, here we are with the actual running display of the Merrill control switch. We uh, have the heavy duty pressure switch with the capacitor in it and it's, it's uh, running a 115 volt uh, submersible motor. It's the most popular brand of submersible motor in the United States today which brings up the subject that I had neglected to mention uh, previously in the, in the video, is that the Merrill control switch is universal. It runs, we've tried it on every brand of uh, submersible motor that's available in the United States, whether it be a European origin, uh, an Asian, or uh, any of all the domestic manufactured motors in the United States. We've tried them all, and it uh, universally works on all of them. The uh, other thing I wanted to show you was, uh, of course you realize, when you open up the vol valve and get it to flow, it, uh, the contacts stay on and the water flows as it should and then I can throttle it back down to get it to short cycle, uh, and which of course you wouldn't want to do for a long period of time, and get it down such that it will operate closer to what you'd like to have for a, a typical system. And uh, anyway, this is, uh, you can see from the gauge and the operation of the switch that everything works and does as it should and no control, control box is needed and it's uh, everything you need. That's it.